several decades ago, Alcoholics Anonymous practically invented the whole recovery movement. Their secret sauce is that healing happens best in the context of community with a high degree of structure. It's been so successful, there's dozens of offshoots, including Under Earners Anonymous, which some of you might want to go sign up for, and Online Gamers Anonymous, which probably should be required classroom work for just about every high school male in the country. Welcome to Sunday's Best Three Minutes, where we're all about offering you something better to do on the internet. We're taking one big idea from Sunday's message and bringing it to you in a portable package. We're in a series called Mission Impossible, looking at the New Testament book of Acts. Jesus gives his first followers a Mission Impossible assignment when he says, you'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria to the end of the earth. Now, one of the first events that happens after this, this assignment is about 3,000 people who are in Jerusalem for Jewish festivals become Christians in one day. Now, those folks were planning on going back home after the festival was over, but once they meet Jesus, they decide to stay in Jerusalem to continue to grow in their faith. Now, the problem is they didn't pack or plan to stay in Jerusalem. Their laundry's all dirty, they don't have jobs, and their hotel key was going to stop working at 11 a.m. the next morning. So here's what the first followers of Jesus decide to do. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. These first Christians formed this hippie commune and fully devote themselves to this whole thing because the principle of people growing and changing in community is the secret sauce to real growth. Real-time, real-life integration of faith happens best. We're, we're in the context of a community of people who are helping each other to do it. Most of us have a push-pull with communities, especially faith communities. Many of us have church baggage. At our church, we have a whole wing of people who are going through church rehab together. But even with relationships in general, we want to be known, but we're not sure we want to be vulnerable. We want friendships, we're not sure we have the time. But the only way we become fully formed, fully healthy people emotionally and spiritually is in the context of real community. If you're not a Jesus person, thanks so much for watching with us. If you're at all interested in any of this, find a community where people are devoted to the apostles' teaching and are living it out together. And if you are a Jesus person, a couple questions for you this week. One, do you know anyone well enough that you could learn something about following Jesus from them? And two, does anyone know you well enough that anyone could learn something about following Jesus from you? Even if you're not at all interested in a hippie commune, growth happens best in the context of community. So find yourself a place to get involved. And thanks so much for watching this week on Sunday's Best Three.